Hey guys, welcome back to Versus Mad Club. Today's topic is property division. So in this topic, I'll be talking about the two property division which are rolled on the board. Okay, so let's get, let's get started. The first property division says that if two whole numbers are to be divided, the quotient doesn't always result a whole number. What I mean by that is, so let's say we have the two whole numbers, 8 and 2, and we are to divide them. So the, in the, the number 8 is a dividend, and the number 2 is a divisor. Okay, and we know that 2 times 4 gives us 8, so the number 4 will be our quotient, and number 8 will be our answer. And then we subtract, so 8 goes into 8 evenly, and 4 uh, remains our quotient, and the number 4 is a whole number, okay? But now let's change the numbers, okay? So now let's say we have the numbers 6 and 12, and we divide them. So 6 is our dividend, and 12 is a divisor. And the number 6 is smaller than the number 12, so we need to make it divisible by making it larger. And to do that, we, add, we have to add a decimal point to our quotient and a 0 into our um, dividend to make the number 6 into the number 60. And we know that 12 times 5 gives us 60, so 5 is going to be our quotient and 60 is going to be our answer. And then we subtract, so 60 goes into 60 evenly. Okay, and we get our quotient which is going to be 0 0.5 okay so 0 0.5 is our quotient but wait the number 0 0.5 has a decimal point okay and so it's not a whole number instead it's a decimal number so our first property is true that dividing a uh, two whole number doesn't always result a whole number i mean you can have a whole number as your uh, quotient but sometimes you will have something else okay so that's that now let's move on to our second property, which is states that the two whole numbers being divided cannot interchange places. Okay, so what I mean by that is, so let's say we have the two whole numbers, 10, and we, uh, the number 5, and we, we were to divide them. So the number 10 is the um, dividend, and the number 5 is the divisor. Okay, and we were divided, and we know that 5 times 2 gives us 10, so 2 is going to be our quotient, and 10 is going to be our answer, and then we subtract. Okay, so 10 goes into 10 evenly, so 2 is our quotient. Okay, so number 2 is a whole number. Okay, so that's that. Now, let's say we were to uh, interchange the places, okay, of the whole numbers. So we'll, I'm going to put the number 5 in the place of the 10, and I'm going to put the number 10 in the place of the number 5. So now our problem should look something like this. 5 divided by 10. Okay, so this time 5 is the dividend and 10 is the divisor. And you know that number 5 is smaller than the number 10. So we need to make it divisible by making it larger. And to do that, we have to add a decimal point into our quotient. Okay, so we add a decimal point to our quotient, add a 0 into our dividend. So make the number 5 into number 50. And then we, uh, and now we know that 10 times Five gives us 50, so the number 5 is going to be a quotient, and the number 50 is going to be answer, okay, and then we subtract, so 50 goes into 50 evenly, so we have our uh, final quotient, which is 0 0.5, but wait, the number 0 0.5 is a decimal number, and it's not a whole number, so our uh, second property is true, that you cannot interchange the, uh, the places of two whole numbers whenever you're dividing because if you look over here, 10 divided by 5 gives us 2, which is a whole number. But 5 divided by 10 gives us 0 0.5, which is not a whole number, okay? So th these are the two properties of division. I hope you got um, all you need to know. Uh, check out our blog at and we will see you guys next time. Bye.